3D scene generation under used specified conditions is a fundamental task in the field of computer vision and graphics. In particular, the generation of 3D scenes extending in all directions from the observer's viewpoint is a promising technology that reduces the burden and time of creators and also provides them with new ideas for creating in 3D applications such as virtual reality, augmented reality, digital twins and metaverse. In recent years, 3D scene generation under used specified conditions using generative model has been extensively studied. A wide range of methods exist for generating 3D scenes from partial images, layout information such as floor plans and bird's eye views, and also text prompts of course. But these methods are limited by the conditions that they can take as input, making it difficult to generate the 3D scenes intended by the user. This is due to the fact that each condition has its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, when partial images are given, it is possible to present a detailed appearance. However, it is difficult to create information outside the image. When a layout is given, it is possible to accurately describe object alignment but not to specify a detailed appearance. When text is given as a condition, it is suitable for specifying overall context. But it is difficult to determine the exact shape and appearance of the object. That is where these researchers have proposed a method for generating 3D scenes by simultaneously providing a combination of three conditions. Partial images, layout information represented in the top view, and also text prompt. And let me show you the diagram of it which explains it quite clearly. So here you can see that there is a top view and this is a partial image and layout information is in the top view and text prompts and their method generates a 3D scene represented by the 360 degree RGBD and NERF. Also free perspective views can be rendered from the NERF method. And as uh, you might have guessed by now, this method is quite performant in my humble opinion. It is called as MagWrite, which stands for Manipulative and Generative 3D Realization from Image, Top View and Text. Now, this method is to control and generate 3D scenes from partial images, layouts and text, also complementing the advantages of each condition. This method avoids the need for creating large data set by fine-tuning a pre-trained large-scale text-to-image model with a small artificial data set of partial images and layouts for 2D, 2D image generation and by generating 3D scenes from 2D images through layout condition depth estimation and training nerve. They have also addressed the integration of different modalities by converting the input information into ERP format, passing it through an encoder and embedding the information in the same latent space. They have also presented a framework for generating various scenes from indoor to outdoor with a module for converting top view layout representation into depth maps and semantic maps in ERP format. These results validate that the proposed method can generate 3D scenes with controlled appearance geometry and overall context based on input information even beyond the data set used for fine tuning. If you look at this diagram, this is the overview of this proposed method which I have just explained and it is to generate 360 degree RGBD and NERF models from a partial image, layout and text prompt. And in this figure A, the partial image is converted to an ERP image from the observer position with the specified direction and field of view. The layout represented in the top view is converted to a coarse depth and a semantic map in ERP format with the observer position as a projection center. And then in the figure B, <coughs> these ERP images and text are combined to generate a 360 degree RGB. And then in the C, the generated RGB is combined with a coarse depth to estimate the fine depth. And then finally in the D, at the very right, 
a nerf model is trained from 360 degree rgb d now if you look at this pipeline of generating 360 degree rgb from a partial image you can see that the core steps map semantic map and text prompts are there the partial image core steps and semantic map are embedded in the common latent space using encoders and their channels are concatenated along with text prompt 360 degree rgb is generated in the framework of control net based on ldm and they have also employed stable diffusion which is a pre-trained diffusion model with an encoder and decoder as a base text image model and then they have fine-tuned the model for their purposes using control net which primarily controls the diffusion model with an additional network of conditional input if you look at this diagram this tells you the samples of the 3d scenes generation based on user generated conditions perspective views are rendered using a lot of good technology underneath such as using the learned nerf model the first and fourth partial images here in this diagram are taken by the author using a camera the second is a painting entitled the listening room by renee migrate and the third was downloaded from the web and then they evaluated the results of 3d scene generation based on user generated conditions outside the data set used for fine tuning examples of 3d scene generated by the proposed method conditioned on partial images layouts and text are also shown here as you can see these conditions were created freely by the author it can be seen that the generated scene contains the given partial image and conforms to the instruction of the text prompt according to the given layout these results clearly show that the proposed method can generate 3d scenes with the appearance geometry and overall context controlled according to the input information even outside the data set used for fine tuning in this paper there is a lot of things happening and i will drop the link in video description and i would highly suggest you go through it because this method for generating and controlling 3d scenes using partial images layout info and text prompt is really cool and they have also confirmed that the fine tuning a large text to image model with small artificial data set can generate 360 degree images from multiple conditions and free perspective views can be generated by layout condition depth estimation and training nerf which enables 3D scene generation from multi-modal conditions without creating a new large data set and that is the hallmark of this paper in my humble opinion that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or thoughts let me know and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network thanks for watching